His future is so bright, he's got to wear shades. Destructive, murderous shades. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider Ghost DX Sunglasses Slasher! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, of course, we have the Sunglasses Slasher, and you have Ghost with the Tokon Boost Damashi. Up top, you have Ghost with the Ryoma and Goemon Damashis. On this side of the box, you have Ryoma and Goemon. On the other side, you have Ghost all like, I'm gonna cut somebody! He's gonna cut him, he's, he's gonna cut him good. On the bottom, you just have Ghost with the Tokon Boost, Ryoma, and going on along with product shot there. On the back of the box, you get some more obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other, all that stuff. And, of course, you get Sun Park Man! That's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have the Sunglasses Slasher. The Sunglass Slasher, which I think sounds a lot better. And it's actually the way the toy says it. So there we have the Sunglass Slasher. This is the newest weapon of Kamen Rider Ghost. This is the weapon that he uses when he goes into the Tokon Boost form. But uh, we will take a look at the sword in a little bit. First, we will take a look at the included ghost icons. We do have two new DX ghost icons here. We have Goemon and Ryoma. So we will take a look at Goemon first. Um... Goemon is done. It doesn't come off too well on camera, but it's very much, um, it's highlighter colored. <laughs> it doesn't come off that well on camera, but he is very highlighter colored here. But, um, very nice. Again, it's your typical ghost icon. Nothing new, nothing different here. Got the sparkly sticker up top. Number eight, Goemon. On the bottom, you have your pins. On the back, you have the QR code. If you have the app, you can go ahead and scan it. There you go. And, uh, yeah, and of course you have the pupil design right there, push the button, number eight, push it again, you have the symbol there for the front of the helmet, and there you have your Omega Attack, and there you go. So there is the Goemon Ghost Icon, and also included is the Ryoma Ghost Icon, which has done a very nice uh, metallic blue, I really like the plastic color they used for this, looks really, really good. It has that nice metal flake finish that I love so much, so, so much. And right up top, you have number nine. Of course, designed for the front of the helmet, Ryoma. Pins underneath, QR code in the back. If you want to scan it, go right ahead. And there you go. Of course, you have the pupil design right there up front. Now, there was a factory error that was going on with this icon. Um... Apparently, some of the icons, instead of getting a number 9 sticker, were getting a number 8 sticker. Um, because since these were, obviously, this was all manufactured together, apparently there were number 8 stickers and number 9 stickers sitting there, and apparently it was harder for some people to tell the difference. So some people got to number 8s. Um, unfortunately for me, I'm one of those people who got a number 8 sticker. <laughs> so you can see, I got two number 8s. Yay! But, no, eh, whatever, it is what it is. But basically how this works is, the pupil and the number is one sticker, and the uh, faceplate design and the Omega Drive is a separate sticker. So, everything else is fine. There's the Ryoma uh, faceplate right there, and you have the Omega Drive. That's fine. Now, obviously, the pupil's always going to be the same, but yeah, I got the number 8 instead of a number 9. It's supposed to be number 9. And yeah, I mean, I could see how people were making the mistake because literally the only thing that's missing from the 9 is just a little bit of black, like right there. So I could see how somebody who's just, you know, you're in the factory line just putting these things together, you can grab a 8 by accident. But yeah, that still sucks that, that I have two I have two number eights. But anyway, there you go. Again, sparkly, sparkly, your Omega Drive. And there you go. So there we have our icon. So without further ado, we will bring in our good friend here for the year. Ghost Driver! Oh the Ghost Driver! Hello, Ghost Driver! 
So let us get right down to it. Let's open her up. Put it in. Close it up. You know I have to do this. I just have to. I don't care if you don't like it. I gotta dance! Okay, I'm sorry. Hershey! So there you go. You're now using the Goemon Damashi, and I really love how he says it. He's like, mm, Goemon! I love the way he says that. <laughs> anyway. Now for our Omega Drive. Blink once. Have that, and now our optic orb attack. Blink four times. And there you go. There you have Goemon. Now we'll bring in Ryoma. Is it up? Can't say so. Hey, Go using the Ryoma Damashi. So now it's time for your Omega Drive. Blink! And our optic orb. Blink four times. So there you go. And we have the Goemon and Ryoma icon. So there you have that. So now moving on to the main event, the Sunglass Slasher itself. And again, this is the new weapon for Ghost that he uses with the Tokon Boost. And um, very interesting, very interesting toy. As you can see, there's just a big giant pair of sunglasses on it. <laughs> And, you know, I, it, and it makes sense. At first, this made no sense to me, but then I was like, oh, yeah, well, you know, eyes, you know, sometimes you got to block them, you know, give them a little shade from the sun, you know, um, to burn out the corneas, you know. <laughs> Very interesting, but again, Japan, so hey, it makes perfect sense. But um, pretty neat. Um, of course, as usual, my... Complaint is always, the blade is too small, I wish it was longer, but hey, it is what it is. It actually is the same length as the, um, as the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Gun Gun Saber. I totally forgot the name of it there, but yeah, basically the same length. I don't know if I'll be able to get this all in frame here, but if you kind of look at it, it is I mean, slightly, slightly longer. Like the tip of the blade here does extend a little bit further out, but. You know, only slightly bigger and the gun gun saber so yeah and we'll get it in close here so we can see the details um, you see the sunglasses here um, there actually is a little bit of molded detail in this lens you have that little circle etched in there with a the flame design around it 
And right up in here, you have some transparent plastic. There is a red LED in there. You do have some silver paint right here that unfortunately does not extend to this part. This is just like the plain gray plastic. And you also have some nice uh, metallic red paint, too, that does go up the top of the blade here. You get some of that right there. Um, the blade is that transparent plastic, and it is the soft plastic there, so you don't have to worry about really hurting anybody. I mean, granted, still, if you hit somebody with this, it's going to hurt, but, you know, <laughs> it won't uh, it won't cut you, you know. But, um, or probably, well, like, actually, that'll probably bust you open pretty good if you get hit with it, so. Sharp or not, that's, that's not going to be pleasant. That's not going to be a pleasant experience. I'm going to stop doing that. So, <laughs> you get some nice metallic red right here. And that's just some painted gray, but there is some molded detail in there. Come down here to the handle. You do get some nice metallic paint right there. And you get the orange handle. And the base of the handle itself right there. Just have that transparent red plastic. You can, you can kind of see through it right there. And you get a little bit of flame coming out the back there. On the back, you do get some nice molded detail right there. You see the openings right there, so you can push out the icons when you're ready to eject them. You have your on-off switch right here, your speaker right there, and you got the battery compartment right there. This takes uh, two AAAs, and on the other side of the blade, uh, nothing really painted. It's just, you know, just that gray plastic. You do have a little bit of metallic red right there, and there you go. So let's get down to the noises that this will make. So your on-off switch is right there. Turn it on, and you get... Sunglass slasher! Sunglass slasher! So you have a red LED right there. You have a red LED in there, which is nice. So pull the trigger right here. And you get that slashing noise. That's the only noise you get. You rapid fire it. Right there. The handle is is small, and due to this piece right here, it does kind of it doesn't give you a whole lot of room for your fingers. Like I have small hands, and my hands just barely fit in here. It's it's a little snug. Um, but again, in the hands of a child, this is fine. But you know, obviously, if you have bigger hands, this is going to be kind of weird to hold. Um, there you have that. Now you can switch it into gun mode, and to do that, there is this clear button right here, you just push that down to release it, and you just swing it around, locks into place, you get a confirmation noise right there, and there it is in gun mode, and in gun mode it does look pretty cool, it's a nice, it's a nice size for a gun, the gun mode definitely works for me, so you have that, and you pull the trigger again, now you get a shooting noise with that red LED going off in there, and again you only get one noise, you can rapid fire it, Right there. So you have that. And then to go back to sword mode, you just have to push that button again. Swing it around. And it'll lock back in place. And now you're back in sword mode. Now, this thing can use the ghost icons. And it's cool that this is like the first roleplay toy that you can actually use the ghost icons with. I, I do really dig this. So you lift up the sunglasses. Right there, you get a little noise with that. And you can see in there, the chambers do have some nice molded detail. Which is pretty cool. So now we can bring in some icons. So we can take the two that we have now, and we can plug it in, just make sure everything lines up, and push it all the way in. You get a confirmation noise right there. Plug in the Ryoma on this side. Oops. There we go. Wait. There we go. You get a little standby jingle. And when you're ready to go, just flip the glasses down. Dance a little bit, if you want. I always want. Hey, pull the trigger. Have the Omega Shine. You can do it again if you want. And 
there you have that. So now we can go into gun mode. And to activate the Omega attack again, we have to lift up the sunglasses and bring them back down. And pull the trigger. And you have the Omega Flash, or as the toy says, the Omega Fresh. <laughs> hey, English. And you can do it again. And there you go. So, open it up, and to eject the icons, you have this clear button right here on the bottom. You just push that, and then you just take your fingers and you just pop them out from the back here. So you just. Push. Right there. Whoops, hey! Launch it at the camera. <laughs> there you go, you get a little confirmation noise when he uh, popped them out. So, there you go. So, now to get into the big explosions, we're going to bring in the Tokon Boost Ghost icon. This can be used with this weapon. And you can see on this side. Uh, in this section right here, you see there's a little cutout right here. It's cut out so it will fit the little horns on the Tokon Boost icon. So, now the only combination he's used on the show so far with the Tokon Boost has been with the uh, with the Ore icon. So, we'll do it accurate to the show. So, we'll plug in the Tokon Boost icon. Make sure things lined up here. Which it's not. There we go. Push that in. And we'll push in the Ore icon. Get a different standby jingle. Anyway, and just flip the glasses down. Get the flame sound effect going, along with the jingle. And pull the trigger. And there you have the Mega Omega Flash. That's right, it's getting all mega on ya. So now we'll go into sword mode. And we will do the attack again. Just flip the glasses up. And flip them back down. And pull the trigger. And you have the Mega Omega Shine right there. And there you go. So we'll just pop out the icons there. Boop. Get that out. Close it back up. It's cool that you do get a noise with everything that you do with this toy. I do appreciate that. So there you go. That is everything that the Sunglass Slasher does. Now one thing to note. Um, this does not have a reader in it. This does not know exactly what icon you're putting into it. The only thing that's happening is the icons are just pushing buttons. You see there's a button right in there, there's a button right here, and there's another button right here. And that's what tells it which Omega attack to do, whether to do the regular Omega attack or the Mega Omega attack. So if you plug in any two icons, doesn't matter which ones, any two icons, will give you the Omega Attack noise that you heard. Now, when you plug in the Tokon Boost icon, it does not matter what other icon you plug into this slot. Doesn't matter if it's this one, doesn't matter if it's this one, doesn't matter if it's any of the other ones, you will get the same Mega Omega Attack. So, just to uh, clarify that. But there you go. There you have your Sunglass Slasher with your 
Goemon, and Ryoma icons. Um, very cool. I, I do quite like this. It is very, very interesting to have a sword with a big pair of sunglasses on it. <laughs> it's weird. It's different. It's interesting. It's Japan. <laughs> At this point, you just expect stuff like this. <laughs> and that's what makes it fun for me. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. I dig it. I like it. Um, now, uh, just to, to get this out of the way, um, just to clarify, because I know people always ask me, are you going to get this, or are you going to get that? Just to answer this question, here and now, for all future inquiries, the answer to, are you going to get Common Rider Ghost, insert toy name here? The answer is, yes, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it all. Um, the only thing I'm going to be picky and choosy about is, like, the premium Bandai stuff, that stuff, you know, it's... That's more based on, you know, because it's more expensive. It's, it's for me, I, I really have to really want it. And it has to, I have to feel like it's really worth the money because, you know, premium Bandai stuff is always priced a lot higher than the regular retail stuff. So premium Bandai stuff, I'll be picky and choosy about. I'm not going to buy figure arts. I'm, I'm fine with the ghost change figure. So I'm not going to go in on figure arts for ghost. But as far as, you know, icons, role play toys, the ghost change stuff. Yes, I'm buying it. I'm buying it all. Um, the Necrom stuff, the Necrom stuff is paid for. It's on the way. I will review that stuff. Uh, you know, once I get through all the stuff for Tokon Boost, I will get to Necrom. I, the answer, yes, I'm buying it. <laughs> as far as ghost stuff goes, the answer is yes, I'm buying it. So hopefully that clarifies anything. <laughs> it clarifies something. Anything. I don't know. I'm sure people still end up asking me, are you going to get this toy? Are you going to get that toy? Yes, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it all. I'm going to get it all. All the retail release stuff anyway. Yes, I'm going to buy it. But um, yeah, there you go. Now, of course, I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan HLJ, but you can also pick up stuff like this from CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always um, Amazon and eBay, but do be very wary of their pricing. Um, but yeah, many avenues to uh t to go if you want to pick up stuff like this so and you can also check out bigbadtoystore.com for some common writer items they mostly just sell figure arts now but if you're interested there will be a link in the description down below and you can also check out my common writer ghost playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and i think that's it so don't forget to check out m games check out Lori plan follow me on twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the common writer ghost dx sunglasses slasher and this is m go saying remember Remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face.